How's it going, John? It's going great. How are you doing? Great. Chef John Pinnell, ladies and gentlemen, right behind you. He's, he's uh, on the ones and twos. He's uh, he's not on the ones and twos. Poor little guy. His cell phone's not working too good. I don't think it's if my cell phone. you can hear me, can you see me? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's going to so be great. Is. We're doing good, It's going to be an interesting show today for us. It's Product Spotlight, if you guys did not know what that is. That's where we highlight a product available at rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. Um, shout out to everybody out there watching us live. Let Phillip us know Bar in the comment section. Philip Barnett's out there. He said he was the first one here this time. Philip, he's legit. That, that <laughs> old SOB. Uh, but let us know where you're watching from. We really would appreciate it. Put it down in the comment section down below. We're talking Pellet Grill 101, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking to you right now like you are from Mars and you have no idea what a pellet grill is, okay? So right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you know anybody that is interested you know, possibly purchasing a pellet grill, not necessarily ours, um, uh, but uh, but that needs some education. Hey, we're going live here. Quit it, Taylor. Be quiet. Yeah, it is you. Um, oh, it was? Oh, son of a gun. Sorry, buddy. I thought it was you. It sounded like you. Um, they're acting like maniacs behind me. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, but let us know where you're watching from. We are doing Pellet Grill 101. I'm just talking to you folks like we're, friend like we're friends. We are friends, ladies sure. and gentlemen. You know, we love each other. Uh, we're live right here from the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters. We got our beautiful setup today. Don't forget Fun Day Friday's live. That's right. We got a great show for you. We're getting ready for that national championship mm -hmm. game. Go dogs! Go. I know about three quarters of the country are not dogs fans. They're no. definitely looking for a TCU win. That's okay. Yeah. I like being the underdogs. But hey, we got people from all over the uh, country watching, Let Jody. Us know, big man. Virginia, New York, Colorado Springs, Omaha. Uh, where else? We were in Fort Worth, man, Texas, North get this Carolina. Job to somebody who can read. Yeah. <laughs> Am I oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, Sherpa. You know that's funny. Um, uh, but Hepzibah. Hepzibah out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, want to let you know if you did not know, if you were on the fence, if you hadn't checked out the website lately, we've got a site wide sale, Chef John. Site wide. Everything on the site mm -hmm. is five percent off. Cheese and crackers, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. That's Everybody's right. getting a discount. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot harder to get out of the family than it is to get in. Am I right? That's true. Um, now five percent off of everything site wide. On top of that, we're going to go ahead. Not on top of, but uh, as well as five percent off. If you're you're going to get ten percent off of a bundle. Okay, you can't stack those. You can't make it 15% off the whole thing. Mm -mm. But 10% all bundles. I know I said that kind of weird. But 10% off of all bundles on the website, rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. Okay? Got a lot of that Casanovas. Love it. Cheese and crackers. Got a lot of that. Uh, we, we found some in the back. It's still good, <laughs> though. It's still in date. Um, but that's also available. We haven't had that seasoning in a hot minute, so go check that out. Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. A lot of cool swag, a lot of cool apparel. Man, butcher paper. Yeah. I Great love that stuff. stuff. Great I love stuff. The, I love but butcher paper. But I want to talk to my friends out there, Chef John. Is that talk okay to. with yeah. you yeah, let's today? Take a minute. Let's take a minute um, to talk to them. There's a lot of folks out there who are just gas and charcoal users. And, uh, you know, I say to you, there's a better way. There's a more convenient way especially nowadays when it's cold um you know it, it, for old for us older folks chef john yes sir it's tough for us to get up and get out in that cold weather and, and cool our bones right you know what i'm saying right it's a lot easier mm -hmm. to be able to turn the grill on from inside the house yes, sir. using an app right yes, sir. cheese and crackers um now a gas grill charcoal grill be unsafe to have an app with let's just be honest okay yeah yeah <laughs> um but Super, super convenient pellet grills are, okay? Now, let's talk about fuel, Chef John. Okay, let's talk about it. You know, with the gas and charcoal, I'm really not very smart. You know, I really don't know exactly how much charcoal to use each and every time. Right. You know, uh, for my Komodo grill. Um, and then with the propane, Chef John, mm -hmm. it's really, really hard for me to figure out how much propane is left in that tank. You right. know what I'm saying? It's a little dangerous too. Yep, with a pellet grill, your hopper is wide open right mm -hmm. there and you can see exactly how much fuel you have and how much time uh, you have until you really need to refuel it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's, that's a couple of things that makes it super, super convenient over gas and charcoal. Okay. But we're going to go down even further down the rabbit hole. Let's we're going to actually explain what a pellet grill is. Okay. The pellet grills require electricity. You got to be able to plug them in because they've got motors 
and ours has a super fancy computer in it. Cheese and crackers, okay? Now, a lot of grills out there, you're not gonna find with a computer in it, Chef John. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of folks out there are like, I don't need a computer in my grill. Well, the reason why I like a computer in my grill, so I can turn it on from my app while I'm in my house, and it's nice and toasty. Talk to them, Jerry. You know what I'm saying? Talk to them. Super em. convenient. Super mm -hmm. convenient. Um, there's less mess too, man. You know, with the wood pellets, you don't have to wash your hands after touching. You know That's what right. I'm saying? That's right. uh, with charcoal, when I get my charcoal in there, you know, I gotta use a device. Definitely. I gotta have these gloves on. Mm -hmm. It's super messy, um, but not with the pellet grill, not when you're loading up the fuel. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yes, sir. So, um, but let's open her up. Let's get on in these guts. Um, a lot of folks, are they telling us where they're watching from, Chef John? Do they have any good questions? Hit me up with the question. Let me know the person uh, that's hitting us with the question. All right, well, Rhonda, Rhonda. Potter Polk up, said, uh, my son-in-law was so impressed with our first cook last week that he ordered him a bundle. It came yesterday. What? Shout out Rhonda. We yeah. love you. Yeah. Uh, we should get some kind of referral thing going. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, I know, right? All right, um, but shout out Rhonda. But y'all, if you have any questions, okay? Again, this is Pellet Grill 101. Hit us up, put them in the comment section down below, and make sure you tap that, that little heart button. Right, Daniel? Mm-hmm. Tap that little heart button. Chef John's doing it. Sherpa's hopefully over there doing it. Tap that little heart button. All the cool just, kids are. Because when, when people turn on the show, they see those little hearts, they think something amazing's happening. Something amazing is happening, but they're more likely to watch it, all right? Uh, but if you didn't know, I'm Jody Flanagan, your barbecue dad and rec tech expert. So that's why I'm on right here, right now, telling you all about this cool stuff, all right? Okay, um, but let's look on the inside, okay? A beautiful pellet grill, okay? It does need electricity, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It needs electricity and it needs, of course, your hardwood fuel, okay? Definitely. And your fuel is stored in your hopper, okay? Um, this is 100% hardwood fuel, no additives, no binders, it's super, super safe, food safe. Um, and it, uh, our pellets, the Rectech pellets, are gonna give you amazing flavor and very little ash production on the inside compared to the competition, okay? Of course, there's gonna be some ash because um, it's wood, we're burning real wood. Um, but your pellets, are moved from A, your hopper, to B, your fire pot, via an auger system. Um, some, some other pellet grills uh, will have like a, uh, gosh, a gravity fed system mm -hmm. to where the pellets just fall into the fire pot, okay? Uh, we have an augered system where a corkscrew actually pushes them from A to B. They are then li lit, litten, lighten? Lit, They're lit, lit. Uh, the grill lights, lights, lights itself? No, it's then lights. The grill lights itself. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're not having to get in there and light it with a, uh, uh, a long, one of them long Snoop Dogg lighters. That's right. Uh, you're not having to get in there and get all dirty and nasty. The grill lights itself, okay? And that controller, the computer over there, is gonna maintain that fire mm -hmm. right there in that fire pot for you, okay? Mm. It's, it's amazing technology if you can get it, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very cheap uh, price, very uh, well priced at rectech.com, R E C T E Q. Um, any good questions, John? Yeah, we got a couple good questions. All right, hit me with them. All right, so this one uh, is coming from uh, Terry Bodie. He says, can Terry, you give me some tips for the griddle. Santa brought me a griddle, uh, brought me a bullseye griddle last year. Cool. Uh, definitely make sure you season that bad boy, Terry. Uh, once you get that thing seasoned, um, if you're cooking anything super fatty, like hamburgers or anything like that, I really wouldn't uh, go above that 400 degree mark, uh, especially if they're super, super fatty, okay? Um, uh, you're more likely to have like a grease fire on that griddle, um, but that thing is awesome to do like smash burgers, pancakes, yes, bacon, mm -hmm. uh, sausage, any kind of breakfast food, mm -hmm. um, fried rice, yeah. uh, stir, fry. stir fry. Thank you, Chef John. Yes, sir. You're an amazing man. Phillies. Uh, shout out Terry, buddy. We love you for uh, commenting. <coughs> oh, next, excuse me. Next question is <clears throat> coming from Philip. Philip wants to know how long so can you store the pellets? Fill the thrill. Uh, you can store the pellets for up to like 12 months. Uh, they'll actually stay good for a couple, two to three years. Um, but the reason why you want to use them up within 12 months is they just uh, start to deteriorate naturally over time. Uh, they don't have uh, uh, any preservatives in them to say uh, to keep them uh, to keep them with a very long shelf life. Okay, now you can use you know wood dust uh, and it'll burn up, uh, but you're going to go through a lot of wood dust to create a lot of BTUs uh, to cook some grills. So you definitely want to uh, to use them up within at least 12 months. Okay, um, just make sure that they're still pelletized. 
uh, and they sh you should be good to go. Uh, but use them up within 12 months. Again, they're good for like two to three years. Um, but that brings me to a very good point. Uh, Uncle Mike Ventry uh, made a good point this morning uh, for me to let you guys know, don't store your pellets on concrete. Okay, uh, we had a bag of pellets that was left out on a concrete. It, it did not rain, uh, but that concrete does like wick moisture, uh, and therefore the pellets uh, did soak up a lot of that moisture and kind of puffed up. And well, we lost a bag of pellets, rest in peace, uh, last night on the dock. Um, but make sure you store your pellets up off of the ground uh, in a dry, cool location. Um, that's a super cool tip. You could put them in like a, a container, uh, but I always like those containers to be vented. Uh, because again, um, it can create condensation on the inside if it gets too hot. Um, very good question. You got one more question before we go back to Pellet Grill 101. Okay. Shout out to everybody that doesn't know what a Pellet Grill is. We're yeah, talk, but keep the questions coming. These are great questions. This one uh, sure, sure. It comes from our good friend Kevin Fuller, and I know he knows the answer to this, but I'm going to ask anyhow. Are charcoal pellets good for the rec tech? Uh, any pellets are absolutely fine for the Rectech. Our grill is built like a tank, Chef John. Yeah. It can take all those dirty, naughty pellets from other companies. Um, but that once you run those charcoal pellets through your grill, okay, you are going to have that residual uh, smell, taste, and flavor uh, even after you replace them with wood pellets. Uh, yep. So just cautiously, um, you know, and uh, they're going to uh, burn a little hotter uh, because, of course, they are more. Uh, uh, in the charcoal material as opposed to the wood material. So charcoal, of course, is going to burn hotter. Um, so just watch for that. But no, our, our grills are built like a tank. Uh, and unlike other pellet grills, we do not require you um, or ruin your warranty if you use anybody else's pellets. You can use yeah. any pellets under the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Our grill is built like a tank. Uh, we do not penalize you or uh, avoid your warranty if you use any other pellets besides ours. But shout out to people that, that love uh, the new apple, the new cherry, and the new mesquite pellets. Those things are off the chain. Uh, and then the 20 pound bags, the ultimate. Mm, if you guys didn't know, we got those pellets on lock. Uh, new flavors, I'm sure, are coming. I'm yeah. sure, for yeah. sure coming. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cool things for 2023, so make sure you follow us all on social media, uh, set your notifications, that way you know when we go live. Uh, a lot of cool new things coming uh, social media-wise. Let us know what you would like to see, you know. Uh, I want to see like a point of view camera, you know, there just you a go. camera strapped to mine or Chef John or <laughs> Chef Greg's head, and you guys get to see what we're doing. That's right. Um, but let us know what you want to see. But back to Pellet Grill 101, ladies and gentlemen. All right, remember, electricity, you've got controllers and motors that you need to run, okay? Your fuel is located in the hopper. It is augered from point A, your hopper, to point B, your fire pot, okay, uh, via an auger system. Uh, it, the grill then lights itself. It then maintains that temperature that you set it at on your controller display, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If I wanted to cook at 300 degrees, all I would do is uh, hit our set point at 300 degrees, and I would wait for my actual to get to 300 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <clears throat> but your, your fire pot, we then place a deflector shield on top of that fire pot to deflect the heat, create a more indirect cooking environment. You can see right here, this is our RTD. This is our temperature probe right here, ladies and gentlemen. No need to ever clean that. It will work dirty and or clean, uh, just like you see it there. Uh, but that's how the controller knows what temperature it, it is on the inside of the grill. Okay, uh, so you definitely uh, want to keep that area clear. Another uh, important part, you want to put uh, your deflector and or your drip tray in other pellet grills, they'll have a drip tray. You want to put your deflector in there evenly, okay? So uh, all of your gaps are even. You have a ev more even cooking environment. We then put the grill in there and you can cook. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? Now this grill will, will cook perfectly with the lid closed and or open. That's the cool thing about the bullseye. It's the most direct fire grill. It can get up to 1,000 degrees, ladies and Ooh. gentlemen. Why would you need 1,000 degrees? So you can cook an awesome steak or uh, sear a tuna super, super quickly, okay? Uh, a lot of great applications uh, for cooking at that higher temperature, okay? But you can see right now, um, the grill will uh, st start augering pellets to the fire pot, it's gonna light itself. You'll start seeing some beautiful blue smoke. Um, now, with this bullseye, the RTB380X, the uh, Bullseye Deluxe, it does feature um, 
a standard front folding shelf. Now, Chef John, yes, sir. What do you use the front folding shelf for? Uh, uh, truthfully, Jody, so when I go ahead to put oh, you just sit on it. Yeah, when I just you're sit waiting on for it. the bus. No, uh, when I go ahead and put something in the grill, I set it there first and then lift the lid up and Absolutely. then put it in the grill. Absolutely, you could definitely uh, use it for that. Uh, I'm sure it'll hold a 40 pound bag of pellets. Easy yeah. peasy lemon squeezy. Um, but again, super super convenient. Um, you can let it down or let it out. Bullseye Deluxe also has that bottom shelf, mm -hmm. okay? You can store your tools. Uh, we don't recommend storing your pellets down there, uh, but you can definitely use that for some storage. Uh, conveniently, this grill features an ash dump. Uh, you can open that bad boy right there. Now, you wouldn't want to open the ash dump during this process, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because all of those uh, pellets that are then getting lit in the fire pot are then going to fall into your little drawer, okay? We need to demand Sherpa cheese and crackers. Let's show Sherpa how how many times he dumps this. Gosh. No, I'm just joking. Um, but you don't want any hot ambers or anything dumping in there. Okay, guys? So uh, when you're cooking on this bad boy, if you're at 1,000 degrees and you want to start a low and slow cook, don't dump the, uh, that 1,000 degrees worth of pellets in there, okay? Mm -mm. Let it Jeremy. naturally go down in temperature. Any good questions, Chef John? Yeah, they did want to know about cold temperature cooking. So Love if that. they're in like negative six degree weather. Yeah, yeah, just know it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take longer. It is just gonna take longer, but you were at negative six degrees. Um, I, re I definitely recommend uh, leaving the ash down at the bottom of your barrel, okay? That's gonna do some beneficial things for you. Create a layer of insulation. Reduce the surface area that the grill has to heat up so it'll heat up quicker. Uh, it'll help you with the fly ash. The fly ash is less likely to fly into the uh, cooking chamber uh, if it has some ash to stick to down at the bottom barrel. Uh, and I'm a super messy cook. You know, my grease drips down at the bottom barrel of the grill all the time. Um, and that a having that ash down there just makes it easier to clean up uh, in the long run. I only clean out the bottom barrel of my grill about once a year, March 20th, the first day of spring. Uh, and I let that ash build up over the summer. That way I have a good layer of insulation uh, for those cold weather months. Um, but definitely give your grill a little bit more time. Uh, if you have the app, it's super convenient. You can turn the grill up, down, on or off from anywhere in the world uh, in a nice cozy house with your slippers on. Uh, you can go ahead and let your grill preheat. Uh, but yeah, and uh, I would definitely just maintain uh, the vents and airflow of your grill. Okay, that's definitely gonna help you uh, with getting to temperature and maintaining temperature, uh, especially on the B380X, the Bullseye Deluxe, uh, and the Bullseye B380. Uh, keep your air vents clean, um, and um, these grills are all about airflow. Uh, the more uh, properly you maintain your airflow, the more properly that these grills are going to run. Um, so, um, but again, it 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 is very easy. Now that startup, you just hit the start. You just hit the on button. Leave your grill plugged in. Just hit the on button. Set your temperature. The grill will get to temperature. You know that it's going to get to temperature because you're going to look at the actual and see what it actually is on the inside of your cooking chamber. Uh, once it reaches that temperature, you're good to go and you can start cooking. Now, after your grill is ready, same process to shut it down. Just hit the on and off button. It's going to go through a shutdown cycle of running the fan and auger motor. Um, after it's, it'll shut itself off. Now, it may smoke a little. Um, after the grill is shut off, that is perfectly normal. Um, there are there was like a 300 to 400 degree fire in that bad boy, um, so it may uh, smoke after shut off, but it is perfectly normal, um, and you'll be good to go. Uh, that that will quickly and easily go out. Um, any other good questions, Chef John? Love them today, ladies and gentlemen. But remember, uh, the reason why you pick a pellet grill over a gas or charcoal grill because it's far more convenient. Uh, it's far more versatile. You can grill, you can bake, you can sear, you can dehydrate food. Yes, that's right. You can fry on these bad boys. Put a cast iron skillet, put some oil in there. You know, I've uh, won many a chicken wing competition with some fried wings, ladies and gentlemen, cheese and crackers. Um, true story. True story. <laughs> Not really. Um, but again, super, super versatile. And you're cooking with real wood, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you're getting that real wood flavor. You're getting that delicious smoke and it's not overpowering. It's not like um, you're not gonna bite into an ashtray with your food or anything like that. Super, super convenient. But the flavor's there, the convenience there, and the versatility is there. And it's less cleanup yeah, a lot. than a gas or a charcoal grill. You, you know exactly how much fuel you're using. You're not wasting any money. You're saving money because your grill is using the exact amount of fuel uh, that you need. 
John, you gotta, what, what's up? Well, they're just asking, uh, how do you feel about turning your grill up to riot mode after you've done like a greasy cook to burn the stuff off, burn all the grease off? Yeah, and you, that you, sticks can, to it? you can most definitely do that. Uh, if you've got a super greasy cook, you can turn your grill all the way up um, to, to, is it riot mode in, on this one? No, I think it just goes up yeah, to yeah, 99. Exactly, you yeah. turn that bad boy up to uh, 999 degrees, 1000 degrees, mm -hmm. burn all of that stuff off on the inside. Uh, especially if you've got dr grease dripping down at the bottom area, for sure, uh, you can burn all that stuff up. Um, I know some folks that just uh, let the grill cool down, open it up um, and just hit it with a uh, dry paper towel, mm -hmm. easy peasy lemon squeezy, just throw that yep. stuff away. But very, very good questions. Uh, call us if you have any questions. We're a lot different from a lot of other companies. Anybody, everybody that's gonna answer the phone for us uh, is gonna actually work here and use the grill religiously. They're gonna live the lifestyle. They're gonna drink the Kool-Aid, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna have the answers. Mm -hmm. to any questions that you have, 706-922-0890. Those folks work at that call center that's right up there. We are here at the worldwide headquarters of Rectech, a pellet grill manufacturer that will change your life. Uh, we also got some awesome coolers and swag. Uh, and sauces and rubs and all of that good stuff to come right. with it to, with the lifestyle baby. That's it. Uh, but again, this was Pellet Grill 101. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't overthink it. Okay. There's only five major parts to this bad boy. Your fan motor, your auger motor, your igniter, your temperature probe, and your controller. Those five things. Easy peasy lemon That's squeezy. It. Couldn't be easier. And with those five things, this grill is able to maintain a perfect temperature. Uh, and produce the most delicious food to make you a backyard hero, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of folks that want to be a backyard hero. I know that. All right, Jody, so without giving anything away, tell them what they can expect from us in 2023. Man, 2023 is a year of goal setting, um, craziness. Yeah. We're bringing it back. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to kick everybody in the cojones. In the cojones. We're going to wake everybody level. up. We're going to take it. To, we're going to take you and your grilling game to the next level. If we're not doing that, we're not doing our jobs, That's and it. we should be fired. That's it. Terminated. It's kaput. <laughs> um, but we're definitely gonna elevate your grilling game this year, uh, even more than we already have if you've been watching us. If this is your first time watching us, thank you so much uh, for letting me ramble on in your life. Um, guys, make sure you love this video and uh, share this video. And when you share it, tag somebody that you know that doesn't know anything about a pellet grill. And a pellet grill will change their life, we promise you. Uh, it changed mine, changed Chef John's life. Yes, sir. Uh, it's changing Daniel's life right before our, our <laughs> eyes. Um, changed Sherpa's life. It changed Sherpa's life. I don't know if, if for the better, poor guy. Doesn't even know how to dump a, a ash dump. Ash dump. Cheese Come and crackers. On. Um, but uh, shout out to everybody watching. We love you. We thank you. Make sure you follow me on social media at BBQDADJODY. Make sure you follow that guy who's been asking, asking the questions uh, at Chef John Pinnell. Two N's, two L's, right? That's it, baby. Uh, and then follow our counterpart, Chef Greg Muller, on all social media, mm -hmm. Cheese and Crackers. Um, make sure you follow Rectech, set your notifications. We're closed on Saturday, both locations, both retail locations, We're closed on Saturday to do inventory. And then we've got some Christmas trees to chop up. We've been a Christmas tree depository that's for it. the community. We've got a giant parking lot that's filled with Christmas trees, so they got to chop those things up for safety reasons. We don't want anybody up here getting hurt, but we're also doing inventory, okay? It's the first of the month. Wake uh, up, uh, wake uh, up, uh, wake uh. up. It's the first of the month. That's right. All right, uh, make bills. sure you join us live tomorrow, 1230-ish, uh, for Fun Day Friday. That's our live cooking demonstration. We show, we, we show you how to use these bad boys. From everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech.